It's fine. Everything is it nine in the morning? It is. Yeah, How girl. about that? It's groovy. How about that? At nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning, and yeah. it's not a hundred degrees. So yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's nice. It's wonderful. Welcome to another week of It Would Seem as Though the podcast, where we talk about anything, everything, and nothing. Mostly nothing. I'm Vesta. I'm Shenanica. Hey, Shenanica. Hey, girl. So, right before we started recording this, uh, we we just finished watching. Probably the worst Oscar opening in history. Yeah. 1989. Yep. If you haven't seen it, go on the YouTube. Go do. And it's Snow White because it was her 50th anniversary. Yep. And it's a ridiculous, cringeworthy 11 minute mm-hmm. musical tribute to Hollywood. Yeah. Yep. Um, but it was. With Rob Lowe. With Rob Lowe singing, which is not good. And there's. No part of it's actually great except the last 30 seconds with Lily Tomlin. Um, but other than that, I mean, do a little research first. Look up like Beach Blanket Dabalon in, from San Francisco. It's no longer a thing. Did you know that? I did. They closed it. It ran for a for long, long time. Yeah. Um, it's a huge extravagant like uh, show that they put on in theaters. Right. Like it was really, it's really well, it cool. took Beach Blanket Babylon, mm-hmm. took inspiration from Las Vegas Showgirls. Made sense. Except... Instead of having like big feather headdresses, they had hats that were like the size of the room. They were like buildings, yeah, landscapes, huge, huge, yeah. Huge, yeah. yeah. And it ran for many, many, many years in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's very inspired by that, but it's it's claimed to be the Oscars that was a disaster because they got sued by Disney because of what they did with Snow White, and they uh, it ruined Alan Carr, the producer's uh, I almost said religion again career his religion, <laughs> his religion. <laughs> of Hollywood. Well, he's losing his religion, honestly. Him and REM, <laughs> you know, someone's got to do it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so we just watched that. It was the, one of the cringiest things I've seen. It really is. Yeah. It really is. I you know, and I was as I was saying, I used to watch the Oscars every single year. And so I remember watching that live as it happened. That's crazy. And thinking, why? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me? Well, because they've, they've had big Oscar openings where they've had like a jillion celebrities on yeah. stage. And usually they will try to drag out the oldest ones they could find. Sure. Like, look, Ruby Keeler's still alive. Uh-huh. Barely. She's sitting in a wheelchair, uh-huh. you know, doing that thing old people do when they don't have any sense and with the tongue moving in and out of their mouth and... Yeah, yeah, like, I know. Gross. Well, they said that, okay, but the reason he did it so big and so outrageous was because 1988's Oscar opening, I guess, was so flat, so boring, so dull. So we should watch that next. Okay. Um, but it was so flat, so they said we need it to be big, need it to be exciting. And so he he made it big, but... It, exciting it was not. It was big, though. It was... It's so uncomfortable. It was just so uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. It, it, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, it was. And that and came out right around the time I was born, so I'm ashamed. You know what I mean? You I, should be. I'm pretty sure you were It was my fault. It was making. my fault. Alan Carr As said, you were, at that uh, point, the Antichrist about to be born. So <laughs> How do I start the end of days <laughs> right. with this huge fucking production? Well... You had to start it somehow. You know? And at two months old, you had the power. Yeah, and so making it rain hellfire, it just made this horrible production happen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, baby steps. Yeah. You have yeah. to start it somewhere. Did it, did it. Exactly. Anyway. <laughs> Ugh, anyway, I, this is going to be a really hard, hard left, but... Hard left. Great. Um, this week, actually this last two weeks, um, you know, for a, a hot minute, I was thinking... That things were getting better with the uh, police and mm. and black people, because mm. I cause I, I had and maybe it's just because I hadn't been hearing as much about it, yeah. And maybe that's because it's no longer big news, and so they stopped talking about it. Because yeah. that seems to be the way. Because it's like as when the war started in Ukraine, we heard about it hot and heavy for a couple weeks, and then I haven't heard about it since. Yeah, uh, Palestine. I, although I am still hearing about yeah, Palestine yeah. on the regular, but it's not as big as it was. No. So I'm wondering if that's really the only reason I didn't hear about it. But then a week or so ago, um, a police officer murdered 
a black woman in her home. Mm-hmm. She called the police. Her name is Sonia Massey. Say her name. Look her up. Google mm-hmm. the thing. And if you have the stomach for it, watch the video. Because they... So she called the police because she heard an intruder or believed she heard an intruder. Yeah. Um, she did have some mental health issues. Yeah. But that's not at all the point of this story. And so the police came and said, well, we didn't see anybody. And then started questioning her mm-hmm. and asking for her ID and just, I don't, it would have gone for like five to ten minutes. Yeah. They're asking her all these questions and it's like, why is she, is she on trial well, but then y'all? she's like standing on her little stoop, the door's open, she goes inside, they go with her, like, it's an, it's like a non-issue. You know what I mean? Right. Because she goes to, into the kitchen, she had a pot of boiling water and goes to turn it off. And allegedly there was like miscommunication, but if you hear the deputy or whatever he was, he tells her he'll shoot her in the fucking face. And then proceeds oh, to shoot see, her. I didn't hear that part. Oh yeah, if you listen to it, you hear him say like, like step away from it, because like, Allegedly miscommunication. She was turning off the stove and he was But like, he told her to turn it exactly. off. Exactly. But then she's near this pot of boiling water and then he, what, freaked out? I don't know. But then he said, like, base, if you don't listen, I'll shoot you in the fucking face. And then he shot her twice. Twice? At least twice. And then, as if that weren't bad enough, mm-hmm. they initially told her family that she died by suicide. I can't believe that. And the only reason that they know different is because the police department released the body cam footage and fired him instantly. So that's a start. They didn't put him on paid leave, Yeah, yeah. which is often what they do. They put him on, it's like, oh, I get a vacation because I killed someone. Awesome. Yeah. So put him, they fired him and he was being charged with murder. Yeah. He's been convicted. Has he? Yeah. He already, it already went to trial. Well, I don't know if it went to trial, but he, maybe he was freaking out because it was going to trial. Because there's a picture of him in the courtroom. It could be pre-trial stuff, but he's okay. breaking down because they're like, you were, you know, maybe it's proceeding to a higher court. I'm not really sure what's happening. But well, because I knew initially he pled not guilty. Stupid idiot. And it's like, the world has seen you murder this woman in cold yeah. blood in her home. Well, for no reason. And it's not that we have it from his point of view. We have it from the, the second officer's point of view. Yes. So you see this deputy sheriff, whatever he is, and you see Sonia Massey and you see her get shot twice like or again however many times but you see all that happen and i will tell you if you do look it up it is very hard to watch yeah Uh, i will say i I will say because we've seen a lot of death of people of color minorities it is un it's unnerving it is gross it's awful i wouldn't say it's overtly violent it's just a white man a cop abusing his power once again it's not like a george the george floyd where he choked him for minutes but it's like she gets shot and you see it happen like it's not cute at all, but yeah, trigger well, warning. Well, and then uh, the other the other cop says, "Well, I guess I don't need to waste my uh, medical kit on this because mm. she's already dead." Yeah, I was like, "You don't need to waste your medical kit." The, this mm. is a life. Yeah, listen, you know what? I this is how I feel about the police. Like I. <clears throat> Of course, I think in, like, civil society, there needs to be a law. There needs to be guidelines. There needs to be um, people who help enforce it, sure. I don't think the the legal system and the training and development that we have for the police is actually anything. It takes more hours to become a fully licensed, like, cosmetologist than it does to become a police officer. And so, like, I would be fine with police if they were forced to get a fucking education. If they were forced to have any knowledge outside of how to, you know, improperly use a fucking gun. You know, like, I, it, it drives me crazy. And, um, yeah, I, I just think if you had more social skills and not this, like, oh, we're going to we're gonna teach you how to, you know, de-escalate because that's also good, but you have to have foundational skills, soft skills of communication, understanding that people are different and will interact and learn differently. Like, let's go back to 2020 where there was a whole slew of very prolific murders by cops of black people. And just, 
how ignorant these white cops were. And so the thing is, if you as cops and these fucking dumb bootlickers who also love cops, if you love them so much, then start holding them fucking accountable. Right. It's the same ideology to me about people who are like, oh, you don't like the United States, then leave. No, bitch, this is also, I'm, an, I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm as much of a U.S. citizen as the rest of you. I can critique the fuck out of this country and say that I don't trust the legal system, that I think the judicial, well, yeah, judicial system's I, fine. I actually heard a point yesterday that I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the uh, extreme right who are like mad because uh, someone took a knee during the, and someone else burned a flag and, yeah. like, and they were like that's the most American thing you yeah. can do because protesting mm-hmm. is part of our first amendment rights mm-hmm. and so when you're like you can't touch the flag and you have to salute the flag and you have to do this and you have Absolutely. that's un-American because you're telling people they have no right mm-hmm. to not do whatever it is they don't want to do if it's, like, things they absolutely have to use, like, yeah. you have to get off the plane when the plane... Sure. But telling people you have to be this religion, you have to no. worship this thing, you have to... No. I also think every law about the flag is so dumb. I will tell you, 100%. I think it's, it goes back to that whole, like, legality, morality thing. Um, the whole, like, oh, you the flag can't touch the ground, or you have to burn it, or you have to fly it at half mast, or take it down every night, or, it can, you know, you whatever. All the things that they say you shouldn't do with the flag. It makes me want to do it more. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, it's a fucking piece of cloth that you mass produced in like China. So I don't care. It's a dumb. Right. And red, white, and blue is like triggering to me. I see those three colors together and immediately I'm like, great. Here comes the laser. So on the day that Trumpy Dumpty was found guilty on his 34 charges. Oh, good. His peoples were all flying their flags upside down. I'm all because you know America's now obviously dead because they found this guy guilty and the other thing the thing that I find funny and I know you will love this is all these MAGA people who are like talking about their god their flag and their country half the time on their little their little Instagrams and their whatever put up an emoji of the flag of Libya yeah do you not even know what the American flag looks like no ma'am because yes there are similarities yeah but it's clearly not the flag yeah. of America. Yeah. So when you're on our flag, that's not our flag. No. Not unless no. you're, I mean, if you're from Libya, sure. Yeah, then it's your flag. But I have a feeling you're not. Uh, white yeah. people. Yeah, no, girl, I can't. I can't with all of these people. It's so, I, I think it's more American. I feel more American and more patriotic when I'm saying America needs to do better. We need to hold America accountable. We need to hold these these institutions, this system accountable and change it, disrupt it break it down, whatever. And that is more American than sitting by and letting them do what they want. I'm sorry. Have you read American history? Here's the thing about these immigrants who came to this land. They slaughtered everybody and enslaved the rest. You know what I mean? And then we went well, to war. A very Christian thing to do. Well, but then we went to war and colonized and were a giant imperial power across the world. You know, like... That, that's what America's about. So I'm not going to sit in America and be like, oh, um, it's fine. Do what you want. I'm going to say, no, you being stupid. What you're saying is stupid. These acts are stupid. Your leaders are stupid. Everyone's a bootlicker because that shit isn't incorrect. Right. You know? Absolutely. And saying what, you know, shooting from the hip is a very American thing to do. And again, it's again, my country as well. You know, I'm not going to kowtow to the right because they think I should live their way. Right. I think that's dumb. You know, and I'm going to jump back to the Sonia Massey thing for a minute. The man who shot her. Yeah. His name is Sean Grayson. Hate him. Hate him. 30 year old who has changed jobs six times since 2020. He was 30. He was fired from almost all of his jobs. As a cop. And, yeah. And, but still somehow got hired there. Um, but he was fired from all of his jobs at, in police work, and he has a history of alcoholism. So it's like that guy. Why would he? Why would you put him in charge of anything? That's crazy to me. Yeah, <clears throat> I know. What a piece of shit. Yeah, Thirty years gross. old. Gross, you gave gross. this dumb white boy who's been fired a billion times, who's a yeah. thirty-year-old, a gun, and said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have you have authority." And well, no literally, education. until we all talk about it, until we all. Do something about it. It's not going to change. Girl, this is literally 2020 over all over again. Remember, people were in the streets. Like, yes, the country was on fire because of uh, 
my god, what are they called? Like, forest fires, like, wildfires. And the world was protesting because of shit like this. Now there's just scary... I mean, not scarier... It's just, it feels the same way again, because now it's like, more democracy's on the line, because Donald Trump's a crazy person and wants to become a king or whatever, and his base is crazier than ever, when they were crazy in 2016. Right. Like, but now somebody's thrown <laughs> an entire hornet's nest into those people, and they have lost their shit altogether. About what? Everything. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's like, they're so stirred up because of the, the trial, and all of his crimes, and all the things, and now, now... You put a black woman in the race, and they're really mad. Mm -hmm. Especially by the fact that she was a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. And she mostly prosecuted sex crimes. Damn. And so they're real <laughs> running scared. Well, they're running scared, too, because they know you put him on the stage with her. Yeah. She's going to make him look like the idiot that he is. Well, and he he said, he's always said, anytime, any place, I'll debate uh, Kamala Harris. Kamala? <laughs> Kamala Harris. Um, and now he said that he's backed out of it and said, well, I'm not going to debate you until you're the official Democratic nominee. Right. And I'm like, bitch, you scared ass bitch. Right. Well, and Fox News, although news is really laughable. Yeah. Despicable. Mm -hmm. I watched this clip of them yesterday, all these people saying that she was a DEI hire, that she, you know, she didn't do anything. How on earth could she get this right. job? And Laura Ingram, who trash from Fox News said well I know that you're gonna all say this is slut shaming but she slept her way to the top. Oh yeah I saw that. She slept her way to the top. She was an attorney. Then she was a district attorney. Then she was a senator. Then she was the vice president. How is that sleeping her way to the top? And Laura Ingram, what are your credentials? No baby. Did you sleep with Ru Rupert Murdoch to get your job? Oh, you probably did. Probably. Yeah. You know because that's real. how most of those people there kept their jobs mm -hmm. until that got blown wide open but it's like how dare you? Yeah. But also, say it, bitch. Whatever. Who cares? Say what you want to say, because when she wins, you'll be crying about it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, like, they cried for the whole eight years that Obama was president. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to say. Say whatever you want to say about Kamala Harris. Who cares? Like, she's a better choice than Trump. Neither... She's a better choice than Trump. I'm not going to go any further, because genuinely, I hate all politicians. But, like, she is who I will vote for, because Trump is a scary person, and so is his base. And I don't want Trump to have the power to further stack the Supreme Court, to make executive orders that further harm communities, yeah. or cut programs, or get rid of complete, like, uh, government departments. Like, that's scary shit to me. And the fact that he's like, oh, I'll look into Project 2025, which, let me tell you, I think is more of a ruse than anything. I know it's a real thing, but it's always been a real thing. This document from the Heritage Foundation is always given to the president every year. Right. And they take it under advisement. But they never do anything about it. They never use it. No, we talked about that. The only president who ever actually used um, the thing. And, but none of them have been as extensive as this one. Sure. But, but the only president who ever used it was Reagan. Right. And he's a monster, too. But, like... So yeah, Trump, there's more of a chance that Trump will, will use it, but Trump also has his own fucking agenda. He absolutely this does. This whole time. Well, and um, one of the big changes that's happened since they announced that Kamala would be the presidential nominee yeah. was that young people who were either not going to vote mm -hmm. or were completely complacent about it have all this, you know, all these people have said, oh, we're voting and we're voting for her. Yep. You know, so this whole... Uh, demographic who was like I don't even want to vote because neither one of these guys should be doing it yep. have now said okay is she perfect no is yep. she great no but is she a hell of a lot better than the other two yes yeah if you you know what and if it would be here's what Republicans should do if they're smart they should put they should not have Trump be the nominee and they should have a minority be it you know what I mean? Because if it's yeah. Kamala Harris as a black woman versus another minority, you know what I mean? There's more of a chance that Trump would win. Well, or not Trump. Or what I love is since they picked J.D. Vance as the uh, VP that. candidate, that they now are having some second thoughts about that because all this shit that he's talked all the, these years, it's, I mean, it's all there. And so they're now playing it. And people, I heard this idiot from Fox News go, Whatever happened to politicians being able to walk back the things they said and say, you know, that was several years ago, and yes, I was stupid, and I've learned since then, and blah, blah, blah. Well, J.D. Vance did not say that. He has doubled down. He has been like, yeah, I said that. Now, the cat lady part was a joke, but 
I was serious in saying that if you do not have children, you don't really have a stake in America, so you, you shouldn't have as big of a voice. I'm sorry if you haven't had children, you're not American? That's so Since weird. when is that an American uh, value to have Listen, children? JD, um, millennials down are having less and less children, so I don't So you're know. not American? Yeah, I, baby, I don't. That wouldn't bother me. Do you know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah, people are like, you're un-American. And, oh. I, but again, you think I'm un-American, not you, but the general, you think I'm un Oh, no, I think you're un-American. Well, yeah, because I don't want the status quo to be upheld, because I think everything should just be dismantled, because I don't think Grandpa Joe was a good fit, and I don't think Kabbalah is the best. I think she's better, and she's the best choice we have, and I'm for it. But, like... I'm more of an American than all of these kowtow bootlicking bitches who want to just follow status quo and uh, and like uphold the patriarchy and white supremacy. Yeah. That's not my fault that everyone's a pussy mouth motherfucker and can't stand up and do anything <laughs> right. I learned pussy mouth motherfucker from RuPaul's biography. Right, because her mother used to call her. That's exactly uh, correct. Mm, I love that. But yeah, so I'm just like, I, the older I get, the more radical, I guess, I guess we could call it the more radical I become because I'm just like, fuck it. And like, on one hand, I'm like, yes, government shouldn't be involved in some shit, but the government should also then do everything it can to help everybody in its nation. There should be no houseless people. There should no be hun no hungry people. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have no medical debt. Like the fact that these are or, issues. The other thing that, uh, the fact that most insurances have a cap, yeah. have a lifetime cap. Of what they will pay. Yeah. Well, so if you have something severe that requires a lot of treatments, yeah. you're shit out of luck. Yeah. That's crazy, you know, right? It is crazy. It is crazy to me. And I'm just like, uh, when people want to say like, well, that's just the way it is. Like, we've always paid for school or medical, you know, we've always had medical debt or medical, whatever. We haven't always, first of all, we haven't always had these issues and it's not the way it is. It's called fucking capitalism. And because you think in this American dream where you're going to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and go make it big and make all this money. You're not right. The whole, the whole scheme of the American dream only benefits the already rich. Like it's not benefiting most right. lay people. And so the idea that that's just the way it is, it doesn't serve most Americans. So right. let's break it the fuck open and change it. And to say that's who it's always been, uh, it's not even that long ago yeah. that medication was not nearly as expensive as it is. Right. Because all of this is big corporations. Yeah. And they're all like, well, our piece of the pie will only be bigger if we raise the prices. Yep. <laughs> Which became very clear a few years back when that guy bought up one of... Do you remember that? I don't remember his name. Yeah. Uh, what did he buy? He bought up one of the com companies that makes uh, drugs for... Uh, yes. 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 And then, like... Increase yeah. the price like a thousand percent or something. Yeah, stupid. yeah. And then he was taken to court, being like, "You're now just stealing from people." Yeah. So, but what's the limit? Yeah, yeah. What is it where it's too much? Well, and he was like, no remorse though. He was oh, like, oh no. And he was like, I, yeah, I make this pill, which costs like a penny to make. Yeah. And I'm gonna charge you now a hundred dollars per pill or some crazy nonsense. You know, it's like, bitch. Mm -hmm. Even if you charge everyone then like ten cents per pill, you know what I mean? Right. You're still gonna charge, charge him a dollar a pill. Uh, a Maybe. dollar, and yeah. you've made 99 cents. Ugh. So, that's what I'm saying. But that's not enough for these people. It's like, the rich just want to get richer, and, and they don't give a shit about that. That's the, the thing. Capitalism is so insane. Like, when you break it down, it, it sounds cute in theory. Oh, you have, like, unchecked, limitless uh, potential to make money, to start businesses, to do all this shit, and to get off, as, the, like, as you get richer, get tax breaks. But the, when that happens, it is not that often. And anymore, it's rare. It's tech yeah. companies, you know? So I hate capitalism, and I'll always hate capitalism. And don't at me because I have things, bitch, because it's real hard to exist in a place that is, you know, capitalistic and not yeah. participate. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just not do anything? I'll go live off the grid, bitch. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll just need solar power in a well or something. I don't know. Sing to I don't the know birds. Either. They'll help me or whatever. I don't know. I'm Snow White now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to live in a house with seven men... Oof. That's I six too many. I want to live in a house with my man and my animals and more animals. That's it. Oh, God. Speaking of animals. Yeah. Uh, oh, we can talk about this. We yes. just did it. We, uh, this weekend. Uh, so, for my husband, who is obsessed with cows, mm -hmm. loves cows. Damn. For his birthday, I bought him an experience where he could go for an hour and cuddle 
miniature cows. Oh, God, it was so fun. And so we drove all the way out to Hillsboro to Carpenter Creek Ranch. Look them up. Forest they Grove. Were super nice. Forest Grove? Yeah, we nice Forest Grove. You said Hillsboro. Yeah, Forest Grove. Uh, Carpenter Creek Ranch. 20 um, minutes from our hometown, girl. I know. Girl. I was shook. I was like, we're that close. I know Forest Grove is close, but I was all, we're 20 minutes from Carlton. I could scream. <laughs> but we went out. We got to uh, snuggle and hug on four miniature cows. So cute. And a couple of teeny, oh. itty bitty goats. Oh my God. And the best thing is the cows were all very different. They were very cute. And the woman who, it's her farm, she told us all about them. I wasn't paying much attention because I was so obsessed with the goats because there was one that had one big mama goat who I was giving loves and then another pen that had like all the babies and they kept sticking their head through the fence and I was loving them and then my future baby goat came to me <laughs> <laughs> and then didn't leave yeah the, she was like uh all over you three and she was uh, almost three months old little white goat she snuck into teeny. the teeny she snuck into where the cows are she does it all the time and then she came over and sat with Gavin and sat with me and just let us love on her. I rubbed her little face, her chin. Um, and not to like get to when Gav, not to end the story, but when Gavin and I were leaving, she was already out, you know, she had left the pen and was walking around and she saw us leaving and she's running after us bleeding. And I'm like loudly and she didn't make any noise the whole time we were with her. And non-farm people that were bleating. Oh. I know it sounds like she said bleeding. Yeah, oh, sorry. Bleeding. Yeah, crying. Just she was crying. She was crying. She was a goat crying. She was all, no. tall, tall people, Come take me back. with you. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. And I then, can barely see your faces from down here, but I know I, I like you. And I was, you know, I was so <laughs> delicate that I was like, Gavin, can can you go to jail for stealing a goat? Like, I was like, can we just grab this little goat? <laughs> what if she goat? just jumped in the car when we yeah. were looking and, and I didn't know. know? Or nor. And then I was like, everyone has cameras nowadays. You know that bitch is going to see me be like, get in the car. You know. Right, <laughs> but it was so fun. It was fun. Now, what's funny to me, of course, is you and I mm -hmm. grew up in the country, yeah. and so we've been around cows and goats yes, and everything girl. else. But our men's is 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 yeah. is our city men's, yeah. You know, and haven't no, and so it was a whole different experience for them, yeah. And they loved it, yeah, and, yeah. And they both love animals so much yes. that just the cuddles and shit yeah. oh, so good it was it was good and oh and then well and before we even got to see the goats gavin and i are hanging out waiting because you get to this farm and you yeah it's all on the farm but there's no direction like we're in a park no signage talk to this person like none of it so i'm just waiting for you two to show up and then little kitty comes out right and kitty had like tape wrapped around her foot like she got stuck somewhere and the guy's like some guy delivering goat milk or whatever. I'm not sure. Taking goat milk. I don't know what yeah. he was doing. I was like, she needs some help. So Gavin and I were trying to corner this kitty. So sweet. But of course it's tape on her foot. So she's like, that's uncomfortable. Don't touch me. So she ran away from us. <laughs> so as we're leaving, we saw the owner, the woman, go to grab her. And the cat ran away. She grabbed her tail, pulled her back and ripped the tape off. And I said, that's how you do it. Well, yeah. That is how you do it. Yeah, because Kitty was not happy about it. But then she was happy because the tape yeah. was off her <laughs> Yes. But especially being a long-haired cat. Oh, I couldn't have been baby. I know. She's so cute, though. I know. But I, I highly recommend it. If you... or. Even if you just want to take your kids... Mm, you have to be 18, don't you? Oh, right. You have to yeah. be 18. Don't take your kids. Yeah. Take your, a group of grown friends and I go pet goats. It's so calming. It, it's so great. Until the one little cow stepped on my foot, that wasn't yeah. very calming. Once I was almost knocked down by that one, she walked right behind me and put her head right <laughs> under my butt. And I said... Yeah. <laughs> I did have a couple issues where I'm like, I'm going down! Yeah. Because I uh, was... Especially because it's uneven ground. I, I walked with a cane. Um... And the cow thought my cane was great. Great. And kept it rubbing his head against it. like, and I'm going to go down. Mm -hmm. And then when I sat down, he's not used to having a chair in his pen. Yeah. So he was rubbing his head against the chair, trying yeah. to push me over. I'm like, they were is so it cute. just me? You yeah. just want to kill me? Love you, girl. Right. And then one of them stepped on my foot. Thank yeah. God my foot was on like a, a foot deep of hay. Yeah. Because it really, yeah. so it didn't really hurt. Honestly. I was so, it was so good, though. And... I want to tell you, this is just my own little bitchy, <laughs> is when both, uh, when Grace kept saying, it's not fair, I want to go, it's not fair, and I was all in my head, na, 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 na. <laughs> right. Gavin and I get to go, and she was like, mom, we could just tell them I'm 18, and I looked at Gavin like, anyone's going to believe this bitch is 18 years old, no, no, no. Uh, speaking gosh. of, of ages, and it, it was, uh, yesterday was your Uncle James' birthday. Oh my god, happy birthday, Uncle James. Happy birthday, James. I love you, Uncle James. He is, uh, officially really, really old now. How old? I, 51. Ew! 
I know, right? Isn't that ancient? Does he have to go to like a convalescent home at he this does. point? He does. He does. Oh, but he has a husband and two children. No, right. they'll take care of you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a son who's old enough now to drive. That's weird. Do you know I've only met his daughter? Oh. And do you know I've never met Bobby? <laughs> You've never met Bobby? No. Okay. And what's funny is, like, not only do I have, like, Uncle James, like, as a connection, but I have several friends who are, like, really good friends with, um, with Uncle Bobby. Who, I don't know him, but yeah. But I've never met him. Interesting. Well, happy birthday. Please come play Sending, out. Sending the love. Yeah. Sending the love of the light. The yeah, laughter. Right. The limp laugh love. So... What I wanted to do today, because I knew that the topics at the top were going to be really heavy. Sure. I wanted to do something that was really light and funny. Okay, great. Uh, I found some really stupid shit that celebrities have said. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and so I'm going to just read some of these because they're hilarious. Uh, the first one, I have not heard of him, but I don't do sports, so I don't know. He's a Seattle Mariner. His name is Carl Everett. Okay. Here's his quote. I'm ready. God created the sun, the yep. stars, the heavens, and the earth. Yeah. And then made Adam and Eve. Mm. The Bible never says anything about dinosaurs. You can't say there were dinosaurs when you never saw them. Somebody actually saw Adam and Eve eating apples. No one ever saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm going to I'm gonna jump out this window right away. <laughs> Bitch, what? I want to know who saw them eating the apple. Bit, the, the, the angels guarding Eden. Like, I'm not so sure. But also, do you know what's crazy to me is that we, as humans, didn't know dinosaurs existed until after George Washington was dead. Yeah. He didn't know dinosaurs were real. Right. That's... When I learned that, I was right. all... I just assumed we all did. You know what I mean? Like, right. the things you all just right. assume. Right. Um, somebody... Oh, God. Somebody on the interwebs posted this thing that said, all right, you know, you stupid, you know... Uh, Snowflake. Whatever. <sighs> explain to me how the dinosaurs were killed by, the, you know, the meteor and humans weren't. Hmm. And the person who, who, who commented right in this thing, social distancing. <laughs> they were distant by 65 million years. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how. They yeah. weren't alive. There were no, no humans. What was a Dumbass. human? I know. But again, as a child, you know, I also thought humans and dinosaurs, the whole caveman yeah. and dinosaur. Sure. I thought, that's real. But as a child. Yeah, not as a grown Not up. as a grown-ass person. <laughs> no. Okay, so my good friend, Shaquille O'Neal, mm. a reporter asked him, did you visit the Parthenon during your trip to Greece? And he said, I can't re really remember the names of the clubs we went to. I'm dead. I love it. The Parthenon. <laughs> the Parthenon. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe know. he's rich and famous. Maybe they wait. Put a party inside can we? On. Can we take a a little segue really quick? No, of course. Um, talking about Greece, the Olympics are happening. Okay. Yes. I don't care at all. To be honest, like uh, honestly, the only one I care about is Simone, Simone Biles because she's amazing and should probably like okay. be the queen of somewhere. Well, here's another segue. Okay. There's a a move, a, a floor move in gymnastics called the Biles one. And Simone Biles, up until a couple days ago, was the only woman in the world who could do it. Another girl, Jordan, from Panama. She okay. was able to compete it. That's it. She was able to do, like, this right. whoop, sorry. Really rare thing. So, opening ceremony for yes. Paris Olympics. Super fucking cool. They had, like, a headless Marie Antoinette singing a song in, like, the castle that used to be her prison. Right. And then they had Gojira, which is a French heavy metal band playing, and there's fire, and it's really cool. And then they... I didn't watch the whole thing. Celine Dion performed phenomenally, um, but there was a... There and were, even more impressively when you know about her the vocal cord issue. Because yeah. okay. um, I watched a clip of her with her vocal cord condition, and she's crying, being like, I don't want my fans to see that. And then of her singing at the Olympics, and I was like, shooketh Magoo. Um, but then they cut to a scene, a tableau, if you will, and everyone's like, oh my god, how offensive The Last Supper. Well, it wasn't. Right? No. It was the Feast of Dionysus, which, if you know anything, he was a Greek god, right? And right. the Olympics are Greek. And all of, there were, like, drag queens and performers behind this table, and people were like, the Last Supper, that's what it looks like. It doesn't. Dionysus is sitting in the middle of the table, and he's blue, first of all. 
But so what? You don't think Dionysus was at the Last Supper? Is that? I'm your... just saying Jesus wasn't blue. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. And here's what I'm gonna say: all those drag queens and performers represented the Olympian gods. That's why we're at the Olympics. They were the Olympian gods, and there were only so many of them. Like yeah. people were tripping. Well, over and it. if you looked at the row of people behind the table, it was way more than in the painting of the Last Supper. Right. And then people are like, oh, and there's a knight writing. Like the pale horse, death riding pale horse. Yeah. That also wasn't who it was. No. It was, what is the river? The Seine River? The Seine. The Seine River. Um, and it was like the whatever goddess of the Seine. Her name's like Sequoia or yes. whatever. Um, but yeah, so a lot of the things that people are like, oh, it wasn't even that bitch. No. It's just like mythology. So and I would like to read this uh, little thing about do that. It. Uh, so Paris, we'd like to see an opening ceremony for the 2024 Olympics. That is universal, but also uniquely Parisian. Make a cabaret, can you get Lady Gaga cool? Uh, so, all of these things happen, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's not the Last Supper. It was a depiction of an ancient Greek bacchanal. Mm -hmm. Because you know the Olympics are ancient and Greek. Mm. Surprise. Yeah. And if you don't know, Bacchanalia is an uncontrollably <laughs> promiscuous and extravagant and loud party. Yeah. So, and that's what that looked like. Yeah, people... Big party. Yeah, people would drink until they... And they and had orgies and yeah. ate food. That and was it says it. the parties often span several days, which honored the god of wine, Bacchus. Mm -hmm. Or, as Dionysus. he's known in Greek, uh, Dionysus. Uh, the, guy, the god of wine and pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was not death on a pale horse, it was... Sequana, Sequana, goddess of the Sen. So if y'all weren't so busy being like, oh my god, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm so offended, and people were even offended by the headless Marie Antoinette because they were like, that's just disgusting or whatever. She was found guilty of treason, conspiracy, and stealing from the country. Mm. So that's why she was beheaded. It mm -hmm. wasn't like Henry VIII's wives who were like, I'm tired of this bitch. I can't yeah. divorce her. I'm going to cut her head off. Yeah. You know, she actually was a criminal. But, and also, girl, they are focusing on Parisian history. That's a huge... That everyone is... Remember, I'm Marie sorry, Antoinette. Parisian history in Paris? That's nah, dumb. so stupid. Um, um, uh, uh, oh, and some, whatever, maggot online was like... Uh, the Olympics are so woke now because drag queens lost yeah. or whatever. And right, then Nikki Doll got to sing her song. Well, there was, there was this uh, a vase in ancient Greece vase, and it shows three men. Two of them are holding one man upright, and the other, one of them's like basically fucking him in the ass, and they're all erect. And I'm like, oh, this was the old Olympic Games, bitch. What right. do you mean woke right. now? I'm sorry, but you've not heard of ancient Greece. So. I mean, there was lots of fucking going on. Yeah. You didn't have sex with women unless you were procreating. You had sex with who? Other men. Right. Just saying. Right. I know. All right, back to our quotes. Mm. This is probably one of my favorites. I fucking hate uh, him. Kanye West. Hate him. Yeah. I actually don't like thinking. <laughs> I think his... people think I like to think a lot, and I don't. I don't like to think at all. I wish his whole quote was, I don't like thinking. <laughs> right. He's so dumb, I hate him. Right. Britney Spears. Oh, I know, a little I, Britney. I love Brit. I've never really wanted to go to Japan, simply because I don't like eating fish, and I, I know that's very popular out there in Africa. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> I was all, what? Britney, I'm sure you've been to Japan, babe. Uh, Paris Hilton. I love her, too. I love her. She's genius. Uh, no, no, I didn't go to England. I went to London. <laughs> I love America. Oh, Jaden Smith. If everybody in the world dropped out of school, we would have a much more intelligent society. What? Well, let's talk about it. Public school is wackadoodle-doo, girl. Yeah. It's... Oh. Well, I suppose if you think about the fact that we're taught uh, a fake history. Girl. And, you know, it's like they don't even want kids learning about history now because they might get their feelings hurt. I'm... And what's funny about that is it's always, you know, the, all the people on the right, the Christians, who are always calling uh, liberals snowflakes because mm -hmm. we're so fragile and whatever. Yet, you can't teach your children real history because they're going to feel no. bad about being white? No, girl, but also, not only that, basic math, um, literacy, the ability to write anything, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things, as when I was like, working as a manager at Starbucks, there's a lot of young people who, you know, because they grew up with computers, they didn't really have to yeah. write papers, they didn't really, you know, they didn't do a lot of, like... <laughs> It's very different. And so literacy is very different to me too. But in this world, especially if you're going to use the internet, play video games, whatever, if you can't read, 
What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Right. Anyway, continue. Uh, Christina Aguilera. Love her. Well, she's So, like, where's the Cannes Film Festival being held this year? Mm, well, I guess if you don't know where Cannes is. Well, if you think that it's a festival where everybody has Cannes, I guess. Well, I, I mean, know. but I mean, it could be like the Coachella Festival. I suppose. You know what I, I mean? I suppose, yeah. Jessica Simpson. Uh, this is the most famous one. That, you know. Yeah. Is this chicken or is this fish? I mean, I know it's tuna, but it says chicken of the sea. Oh, Jess. She's She'll never live so... that one down. No. Brooke Shields. And I love Brooke. Yeah. Smoking kills. If you're killed, you've lost an important part of your life. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Stop. You've lost an important part of your life. How embarrassing. How do because these people... How death people, is the best way to end your life. How do these people make it past infancy is what I want to uh, know. Who knows? Girl. Uh, Justin Bieber. When he went to Amsterdam and went to the Anne Frank Museum. And was posing... You know, with taking selfies with things in the Anne Frank Museum, and said, uh, "You know, Anne Frank, she was a cool girl. I think she'd have been a believer." Really? Oh, That's what you took away from that? Was she would have been a fan of yours? Okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, great. What is governor asked episode? whether he supported gay marriage. Arnold replied, "No, I think gay marriage is something that should be between a man and a woman." Um, Arnold. I know. I know English isn't your first language, Poppy, but, like, what the fuck did you just say? I know. Um, Mike Tyson. You, you know, just... Mike's been talked about a lot recently because he's fighting that stupid... Jake Paul? Jake Paul. You need to say it with a list, though, if you're going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to fade into Bolivian. <laughs> I hate it when I fade into Bolivian. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> I, me too, girl. I mm, what Bolivian? Bolivian. I'm gonna fade into Bolivian. Uh, that's okay. I'm, does that mean you're gonna suddenly be from South America? <laughs> Can't wait. I, I, that's I, my life dream. The Dalai Lama. I didn't think he'd be on this list. Oh, wow. Quite frankly. What do you say? It's probably I mean, than we expect. if a female Dalai Lama come, then she must be very attractive. Otherwise, not much use. Okay. Well, yeah. I thought it was gonna be deeper than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sienna Miller about smoking. I love them. Love them. I think the more positive approach you have to smoking, the less harmful it is. Oh, is that it? It's I think that's approach it. To if it. you really love your cigarettes, they if, won't hurt if you. you. If your intention is to love smoking, it's healthy for you. Yeah. Kim Kardashian. Okay, you could have a whole book of dumb shit. Oh, God, said. right? Yeah. She is so stupid. Uh, on her 72 day marriage oh, to Chris Humphrey. 72 day marriage to uh, I spoke to a girl today who had cancer, and we were talking about how this is such a hard thing for her, but it taught her a big lesson on who her friends are, and so much about life. She's 18, and I was like, that's how I feel. So you're comparing your 72-day marriage to a young lady with cancer. Kim Kardashian is a dumb so fucking stupid. bitch. Yeah. I know. Uh, Craig T. Nelson, who I also love. Uh, oh, I've, yeah. Same. I've been on food stamps and welfare. Anybody help me out? No. I mean... Um... No? Bill O'Reilly, who, you know... Mm. Dumb motherfucker. Genius. I'll tell you why religion's not a scam. Why? In my opinion, all right? Tide goes in, tide goes out. Never a miscommunication. You can't explain that. You can't explain why the tide goes in. What? What? That's it. But none of that made sense. You contradicted yourself in your own statement, which didn't make any sense to start no, with. it's Bill O'Reilly, who's having a senior moment. Yeah. A, mm, dumb, dumb, dumb. Geraldo Rivera. I'm urging the parents of black and Latino youngsters, particularly, to not let children go out wearing hoodies. I think the hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death as George uh, Zimmerman was. So the hoodie killed him? That's like the, that's like the whole rape thing about, like, well, she was wearing... But you so you shot this black kid because he was wearing a hoodie. Make it make sense. All right, Geraldo. Mitt Romney. Oh lord. I know. I believe in an America where millions of Americans believe in an America. That's the America millions of Americans believe in. That's the America I love. You know what? That is a tongue twister. <laughs> but I will tell you. But what the fuck does it mean? I mean, I believe in America that millions of America believe in America. Um, I love it. Let me tell you. I want to go back to the day when Republicans. More like Mitt Romney. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Just stupid and not super dangerous and crazy. Right. When he becomes, like, 
your 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 gauge of sane fucking Republicans, you know they've gone off the deep end. Oh, uh, speaking of dumb people, Dan Quayle. It's time for the human race to enter the solar system. Papa, we there. <laughs> We've been there the whole time. Oh. Madonna, and this one's not so much a stupid quote because I've been at this point in my life. I'm past it now because I'm old. Uh, listen, everyone's entitled to my opinion. I love that too, but I hate Madonna. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> old comedian George Goebel said, if it weren't for electricity, we'd all be watching television by candlelight. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. I'm How old, silly. What? How silly. Yeah. God, Proves just because you're famous doesn't mean you know anything. No, Cameron Diaz. I've been noticing gravity since I was very young. Bitch, get out. <laughs> you don't know, understand You've you. been noticing gravity, have well, you? Well, I would be... I'm happy you were noticing it, because if you weren't noticing gravity, I would be slightly concerned for you. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Another Dan Quayle that I just... I Because, you know... If we don't succeed, we run the risk of failure. I'm going to scream. <laughs> it's like people are saying the dumbest <laughs> shit. If we don't win, we lose. Yeah, idiot. That's the other option. It's, it's not, there's no gray area, you know? If newborn babies could speak, they'd be the most intelligent beings on planet Earth. They wouldn't. They no. wouldn't. That was Jaden Smith again. No, they would not be intelligent. There's a difference. Paula Abdul. I've never been drunk in my life. I don't use recreational drugs. What? I mean, it's still not incorrect. Alcohol is a recreational drug. <laughs> but I she's drunk all the time. Stuff. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I watched American Idol, Paula. Right. I saw you slurring your words, mama. Mm, fair point. Glassy-eyed little baby. Yeah. Are there more? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Um, but wait, there's George more. W. Love. <laughs> I have opinions of my own. Strong opinions. But I don't always agree with them. <laughs> you don't agree with your own opinions? Girl, I don't agree with his opinions either. Like when he, during the debates, compared himself to Jesus Christ. As he, well, compare yourself to a historical figure. Jesus Christ was his? Really? Yeah. Come wash my feet, motherfucker. Mariah Carey. And this one's make this more cringe than anything. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, whenever I watch TV and see those poor starving kids all over the world, I can't help but cry. I mean... I'd love to be skinny like that, but not with all those flies and death and stuff. <laughs> I want you to know I think that is hysterical and awful. Yeah. Fucking Mariah Carey. Oh my god. Jaden Smith, again. God! How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Can you just skip his from now on? Because it doesn't make any sense no. to me. No. I know. I know. It's just stupid. Yeah. Our eyes aren't real? What do you mean? Uh, I'll see if you can guess who this one is. I won't go into a big spiel about reincarnation, but the first time I was in the Gucci store in Chicago was the closest I've ever felt to home. I have no idea. Kanye West. Oh my fucking God. Uh, Nicole Richie. Love her. When I pictured heroin, I pictured some crazy crackhead with no shoes under a bridge. You never think it's going to be you. <laughs> and it never was me. I was never under a bridge, and I always had shoes. <laughs> I love her <laughs> so much. I'm so glad she always had shoes. I know. And expensive shoes like that. Yeah, I was under a bridge, and I had shoes on. I love that. This could be my favorite one. Okay. I don't know. It's hard to pick a favorite yeah. of all these idiots. Um, George W. Bush. Okay. Fool me once. Shame on, shame on you. Fool me. You can't get fooled again. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> I'm all that. What? I we have a fool me once quote too, but it's not that con fucking voluted. It's really hard to maintain a one-on-one -on -one relationship if the other person is not going to allow me to be with other people. Ooh, yeah. Because guess what? That's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Hey. Oh, Axel. What have you done? <laughs> Linda Evangelista, who I... She's probably my favorite supermodel of all time. Okay. Love her. I don't diet. I just don't eat as much as I'd like to. Yeah. Isn't that the very meaning of diet, yeah. Linda? I, I mean, don't diet. I just starve myself. That's just... What? Uh, ah! I know. I who know. crazy? Celebrities, girl. Let me tell you. Sometimes they have good things. 
Not in my good, I mean funny. So um, here's actually, I love this quote. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, Mark Twain. Okay, I'm ready. Never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. I yeah. love that. I he also said a quote about Christianity once in the devil and saying, like, out of however many years, nobody once has ever prayed for the devil, the person who needs it the most. And I'm like, that kind of opened my eyes to like, oh yeah, Christianity is kind of a scam. You know? Because I'm like, what? It's true though. Uh, here's another Mark Twain, which so perfect for right now. Okay. Now these are, I've, I've jumped from funny, dumb quotes to funny quotes. Uh, politicians and diapers must be changed often and for the same reason. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're full of shit. Aren't they though? I love it. Yes. When I die, I want to die like my grandfather who died peacefully in his sleep. Not screaming like all the passengers in his car. <laughs> <laughs> that was Will Rogers. I love that. That's so funny. Peace playing to sleep. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, expecting the world to treat you fairly because you are a good person is a little like expecting the bull not to attack you because you're a, good, a vegetarian. Yeah, true. I mean, it's Dennis Holy, and I don't know who that is. No, me either. Who are these people? I don't know. Um... Oscar Wilde. This is a good one. Always borrow money from a pessimist. He won't expect it back. Yeah. I'm into that. Yep. yep. Oh I my God. That. Yes, I thought that was hilarious. Um, and I have some things that are not celebrity quotes. They're just stupid things that people wrote on the internet. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody posted on the Book of Faces uh, that a shark is... The oldest, the oldest living shark is older than the USA. Mm -hmm. Okay? Bro, how is the shark older than the USA? I doubt the shark's been alive for 2,023 years. You're right. And somebody went, what? <laughs> That's not you. The right. Earth and USA was created 2,023 2 years ago. I doubt the shark was the first person alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Do you also know that sharks are older than trees? Wow. Is I that, did not know that. Yeah, well, because think about it. Marine life. Things, there was marine life before that. Oh, was sure. Before there was, like, land. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. huh? Bro, why did they make a zero candle? You can't be zero years old. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how people survive the world. Girl. Ugh. As a Greek, I can say that even though we learn mythology in schools, uh, she, she is never mentioned in the books because they don't want her to overshadow Zeus. And I don't know who they're talking as, because it just says on Greeks. And somebody wrote, whoa, Greeks still exist? That's so cool. I'm so, what? Hmm. They're not like Babylonians, bitch. <laughs> what do you mean? I know. Sumerians, like, what are you talking about? I'm uh, over it. <laughs> And this is on a relationship thing. I don't know what website this is on. Uh, what are you looking for on here? Long term, you? Long term as well. Are you bi, pan, lesbian? Bi. Mango moose. Mango moose? I only date one person at a time. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I get that you couldn't spell monogamous, but... Got it. But you're a mango moose? You're a mango moose. You know what I'm saying, I guess bitch. it's mango mouse. If I, mango, you know. maybe if you could read. I know. I know. But that country life. It I did, know. It warped your little noggin. It turned out on to just mashed taters. Uh, sorry, but dairy isn't... I'm sorry, but milk isn't dairy. Cheese is dairy. You try hard to get it right when you're wrong. It's pathetic. Who? What? This is just idiots on the internet. Milk is considered dairy in at least six countries I have lived in. How is it not dairy? Because this is America. In America, we do, do things the right way. Girl. What, what do you think cheese is made from? Genius. I think that uh, <laughs> I'm getting dumber as the moments go by. Yeah. It does happen. Yeah. How, I mean, are we close? Because is this fun for the audience? You just reading things from the internet? <laughs> it's fun for me. I know, which I guess is all that matters. It is. I mean, are we laughing? Did you stop laughing? Yeah, I don't laugh anymore. My laughing, oh, wow. my All laughing right. skills have been removed. <laughs> I don't have that. The laugh track has been removed mm -hmm. from our show. The world is too much. So, 
You know. Okay. All they right. said you can't I laugh anymore. So no, no more laughing for you, bitch. Stop laughing. No uh, more laughing. All right. I know, God. Well, I will try to not be funny anymore. Yeah, don't be funny. It's exhausting me. Except I want to go back to those celebrity quotes because I think I could change my life if I just read them and, you know, and okay. understood them on a deeper level. Like Kanye West, maybe he gets Okay, like, well, here's R. Kelly. No, not that child All of a sudden, rapist. you're like Bin Laden of America. Osama Bin Laden is the only one who knows what I'm going through. Was this when he was, like, what, being convicted? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tara Reid. Oh, is she still alive? I make Jessica Simpson look like a rock scientist. Oh my God, um, she's a monster. Some people like that should maybe have someone go over their stuff before they're allowed to post. Yeah, it, or have people well, post for them. You know, just hold their hand through life. I think that might be helpful. Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, walking. Do I have a frog, like a large frog in my hair? I have the sensation that something's eating my brain. What drugs was he on at the time? That's the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is when he grew his beard out all along and was like a cuckoo person. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, walk-in. <clears throat> walk-in freezer. I think the film Clueless was very deep. I think it was deep in the way that it was very light. I think lightness has to come from a deep place if it's true lightness. <laughs> I'm leaving. Who said that? <laughs> Alicia Alicia Sil- oh, no. I know. Poor little dum-dum. She can't help it. Uh, Jessica Simpson. I'm not anorexic. I'm from Texas. <laughs> are there people from Texas that are anorexic? I've never heard of one. And that includes me. I've never heard mm. of one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ivana Trump. <sighs> Fiction writing is great. You can make up almost anything. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. What a dumb bitch. Like, are these people for real? They are for real. So, Be several so years ago, for real. Uh, Tell me. my husband and I were at this little thrift store here in town. Uh, and, actually, it's a really big thrift store. But, he was looking at books. Yeah. And they were all marked in sections. There was a piece of, like, masking tape okay. on each shelf saying what kind of books they were. Yeah. My favorite... Which I've never been able to forget was the shelf that was marked, not true fiction. Not true fiction! So, my question is, if it's not true fiction, then is it, is it, you know, autobiographies and stuff? Is it, well, it could have been not true slash fiction, because what if people came in and didn't know what fiction was? Right, there's that possibility, but there was no slash, it just said, not not true true fiction. fiction. This isn't, so this is not true fiction, this this is is partially real, I don't know, but I read that and I was cracking up, I'm like, what What does that even mean? (gasps) I don't think it means what you think it means. Excuse me, worker, can you come explain Can you fix this, please, because this is dumb. Yeah, it's really fucking dumb. Right. I know. But a friend of ours, uh, her ma- her mother always referred to to lesbians as the gay lesbians, and I'm like, the gay le- does that mean they're straight or if I'm you're extra a gay, gay. lesbian, <laughs> or they're just like really gay? They're a lesbian who's into men. Mm-hmm. I, mm. <laughs> you know, I've been watching a lot of Law and Order SVU. Yes, yeah, so lots of it. Like. Nonstop, and I've seen a lot of celebrities that I'm like, oh my god, who knew? Um, like Carol Burnett was just in one, and Matthew Lillard, whatever. But I watched one with uh, Kathy Griffin. The other oh night. yeah, I've seen that one. And she's like a lesbian. Yeah. And she's the leader of like the Lesbian Reel or whatever it is called, the lesbian website. And then she turns out to have a boyfriend. So she oh, right scandal. She was not a. Tr- she was a gay lesbian. She was a gay lesbian. So she <laughs> liked <laughs> girls, but. Like, had a boyfriend. Like, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I, so I remember watching that episode specifically because Kathy, Kathy Griffin, Griffin. yeah. Because we love Kathy Griffin. Yeah. We stand Kathy Griffin we around We stand here. her. Um, yeah. Um, there was an episode, I'm just going to say this really quickly. It was a guy who got off on, like, rape fantasy, right? And he would, like, record him bring women home, right? And then, like, the whole thing. And there, he was like, I never raped these people. And they all, it was consensual, whatever. And then they play his videos that he recorded of him essentially, you know, play acting rape. And he stands up to yell, like, I didn't do that. And he has a full on erection. <laughs> like, on the stand, like, being interviewed, or 
Right. Whatever it's called. Interrogated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He stands up. He's all ready for work. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Then the flagpole is all the way. All the way. All right. All right. Well, I, what better way to stop than on a boner boner story? Than a man, an angry criminal's (laughs) erection. (laughs) My favorite. Yeah. 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 Anyway. This has been fun. It has been fun, but now we gotta go. We have things to do. I have so many things to do. Do you? I don't. I actually don't. I have virtually nothing to do today. I do. Uh, But this is how I start every Tuesday morning. Agreed. Which makes me very happy. It's always fun to get to hang out with you. I know. Uh, So we're going to go now, and if you would like to send us messages, you can do so at it would seem as though at gmail.com. Please. Uh, Like, share, subscribe, and you can also... Uh, you can rate our episodes. Yeah, you and should leave a review. You should, but and we're gonna rate tell them a highly. friend. Tell all your friends. Maybe tell, tell your like, enemies. Right. Maybe put our you know our link in your uh, uh, church's like notice board. Whatever. Get us Maybe out don't there. Tell them what it is. No, just say it's the holiest of podcasts I've ever. But all they talk about heard. is Jesus and how much they love Jesus and yeah, Jesus. And in, in the case you forgot, Jesus. Jesus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, we do say Jesus occasionally, but it's not in a holy type But manner, mostly as a like role. Jesus fucking Christ, you yeah. know? Yeah. It works. Yeah. It works for me. Praise Him. You know? Yeah. All I right. gotta go. Me too, girl. I'm over it. Bye. Bye. It was a famous though.